And while a lot of Nashville teachers have big concerns about a safe return to the classroom, we are learning that access to COVID-19 testing won't be one of those worries. News Channel 5's Chris Davis has new details on a partnership that will bring COVID tests into each school building to identify hot spots that might arise, make sure we keep those from spreading throughout the system so that we don't have to have a shutdown. Metro Schools plans to be aggressive when it comes to COVID-19 testing. They're partnering with Meharry Medical College so that students and teachers who need a test can request one. Both groups can also opt in for random sample testing on a bi-weekly basis. It'll be a sample size from each school. Um, we've created a sample that's large enough to where you'll kind of know what the trends are. The idea is if they do random testing, they'll actually have a better idea if their particular case clusters in schools and can then take the appropriate action. Certainly the testing will help. The president of Metro Nashville Education Association says testing inside each school will be a big improvement for teachers. The hours that the testing centers were open were when they were teaching, so it, it made it very difficult to go get tested unless they took time off. But she wishes the same amount of resources were being used for some of their other concerns. Number one, being vaccinated, but even more than that, being able to have social distancing in classrooms, making sure they have adequate PPE. It's not from a lack of effort. Metro Super Superintendent Adrian Battle made this plea on Monday. If the leadership in Tennessee is serious about keeping staff in classrooms, we need to make vaccinations a priority now. And if we could make sure that those vaccines were available, I think you would see teachers much more willing to go into the classroom than they are right now. In Nashville, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Thanks, Chris. A spokesperson for Metro Schools says almost all of the expenses related to COVID testing will come from federal CARES Act funding and the state will supply the rapid tests.